We are standing in the Chippewa National Forest. I'm showing you a pile of slash that my husband has been carrying to the giant forest slash area in the Chippewa National Forest for the last week, load after load of slash. Because, why? Because we suffered a huge tornado, a windstorm of 80 to 100 miles per hour last July 2nd, 2012. You can see all the wood that we have here, which raised, literally raised our area, our lots, and tore down tree-shaded areas. Now this is all open. No trees here. All flat, raised to the ground. Ch chewed off stumps, branches. A lot of the big trees, the ones that were really big, here's some more here on this driveway. Um, the big trees were taken away by the Forest Service to, for resale. And uh, so you can see, you know, this area that was completely covered by trees is no longer covered by trees. Where are the trees? Well, they disappeared with the huge storm that we had last July 2nd, 2012. There's some bushes and new little trees springing up, but where are the big, beautiful, towering Norway pines that took 80 to 200 years to grow? Where did they all go? They disappeared. They will not grow back in our lifetime. So here we go. More slash area. Slashes here and there. And the, the storm would, would jump up in one area and then jump down in another area, swoop down another area and just destroy whatever was in its path. So I'm not saying that all the forest is raised down. No. Our area is especially damaged. You can see it's kind of overcast today so it's hard to see as well, but as I said, well, let me show you from the our neighbor's Riggs driveway, trees down here, some trees left, lots of, most of the trees are down, I'm going to show you that their cabin was invisible to us from our lot previously because it was heavily forested, our lot was invisible, our cabin was invisible to them. Now you can see our car, our cabin, all this was heavily forested. Now I'll turn to the left here, see another area that's been raised, a whole, like a whole path of destruction just tore through this area. Go quickly if I can. Now, we asked for a new appraisal from the Forest Service in 2013 because of all this damage, and the 2000 Cabin User Fee Fairness Act, CUFA, established by Congress in 2000, states that when we've had an act of God occur in the National Forest that we have the right and, and can expect a new appraisal because of the damages. Well, in addition to this, these lots are located on Pike Bay, which has the St. Regis Superfund site on it, which we weren't told about by the Forest Service. I guess they published it in the local Cass Lake Times newspaper. But we were living out in California, didn't, where we weren't reading the Cass Lake Times out there. Anyway, you can see, as I said, the paths of destruction across the road, too, on Takagami Loop Road. I'm walking in a path here. There's not a road. It's the raised area through to... Now, this shows, in addition, more damage. Um, this was, is a gully down here. I'd have to walk further to show you, but it's a gully down here. We couldn't see previously from the road or anywhere. There's over that side, too. White path of destruction. I could go on the other side and show it to you there, too, but I'm not going to be able to get there quick enough to, for this video. So, anyway, if you... This is not my minor damage. This is major damage. Forest Service is asking us to pay. They've tripled our fees from 2000 a year to over $6,000 a year for damaged lots for a lake, Pike Bay, with a St. Regis Superfund site on it, for a small rustic cabins, 900 to 1,000 
square feet old rustic cabins that are used but only in the summer months. The winter months we have lots and lots of snow so it's passage in here is not, it's not possible to get through here in the winter because of the heavy snows. And this is totally unfair. $6,000 for an old rustic cabin on damaged lots situated on the Saint or the Pike Bay, which has the St. Regis Superfund site on it. Totally unfair, unacceptable. We need a new appraisal. This is totally what we deserve. Thank you.